back by popular demand, we have Mega Monkey 666 and our new friend here, Daniel Bryan, of yes, Team Poppy Bros. Yes, yes. <laughs> and this is pretty much us after seeing the band list. Can we all agree on that, folks? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> anyway, we got some interesting opinions here that we'll give out. You guys really wanted to see another analysis, so let's do this, shall we? All right, let's get started. So, band cards, of which we have many. Four mini dragons. Spellbook of Judgment. We all know that one. Yeah. Are we all sad to see them go? No. Well... No. Nope. All right. Now for the actual new band card, Stratos. I don't. I don't think that needed to happen. I think it had to. Yeah. I'm not... Them banning Stratos. Look at what else happened on this list as a result. Still, I don't think yeah. one needed to lead to the other. It's not like maybe three or four years ago it would have been overly powerful, but not anymore. Not now. I mean, don't get me wrong, opening Rota, opening Rota D-Draw so you can go into Stratos Malicious D-Draw, like, that's pretty powerful. <laughs> but, why can't we have our Teledad? Be no, when that format's not coming back. Uh, and then next up, Band Monster Shockmaster. Sure. Mm -hmm. I don't care. Don't like it. With the heavy bands, uh, and, and now Shockmaster, taking away any outs, decks like... Sellers and Eel Swarms have against Firefox. I can see that, but on the other hand, too, Shockmaster led to some really degenerate plays. If you were playing against those same decks and they just called spells against you and you were playing something like Gishki, oh, I flat out lose. Like, I still remember it's, the, cool, it's two sided. Shockmaster. I still remember the good old days of Magician Reveal Shark. No. <laughs> no. No. Not coming back. What else do we have left for Band Monsters? Okay. Monsters, none. None? So it's just onto the spells, so... Yeah, who called most of it in the last video? This person. Yeah. First up, card destruction. Hallelujah! It's about fucking time. Good riddance. Like, it got to the point where it was starting to see play in just so several... Just pump up Yeah, card destruction single handedly one world, and thank goodness it's gone. Super rejuvenation. With the babies gone, it didn't need to happen, so I... Sure. Yeah, it hits Dragon Exodia, and basically... I was just going to say, we're not going to see too many Dragon Exodia decks come regionals. And frankly, I'm willing to accept that in the hit, if it means giving up Super Rejuvenation. Yeah, and I think yeah. we can all agree. Like, one less Exodia deck to deal with, the better. I have a feeling they're still going to troll us and make it a Super Nastral for you. <laughs> <laughs> still waiting on that Ultimate Mirror Crimson Blader. Pot of Avarice. The no fucks given synchro will miss it, but as for its meta relevance, yeah, it's good that it's gone. It's conditions to make it were a joke. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm a little salty over it, but I'll deal with it. Though, <laughs> though I do believe in my heart of hearts that someday it'll be back. Maybe someday, but basically when it got to the point where Torgide alone fulfilled over half the conditions for Pot of Avarice, mm -hmm. you know the card's just a little strong. Yeah. And not to mention, could you imagine what would happen if Dragoonity and Car Curry still had this card coming into this format? Oh. Yeah, good point. Too good. Too good. Glad you're bringing it up now because I'm starting to get less and less salty over those. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's it for like the band spells, isn't it? No, uh, also Gateway of the Six. Oh yeah, Gateway to the Six. But then again, all the good Samurai players stopped running it. Yeah, but now the deck can the deck doesn't have to be called Degenerate anymore. Yeah, now if you want to play Samurai, you actually have to be skillful and know what you're doing. Yep. So I'm glad to see that gone. Oh, well, good day. Yeah. Ultimate Offering. It was too broken, bottom line. Gadgets, when Adolche. Gadgets, when Gadgets hit you, and too strong, too strong. And goldfish into Gadget, into Gadget, into Girgen X, into Goldfish, into Gadget, into something else. Make another Girgen X, into Goldfish. Uh, no. Yeah, like, if it was going to get slowed down to the point I thought it was going to be, then it would have been just basically, you get this off, you win. Yeah. Uh, solemn Judgment. I don't like seeing it go, but I definitely understand it. I mean, I can, it would have been too powerful in a format that lost a lot of its good staple. Like, it would have been hard boards to crack. Would have just became, It would have gone from a hard board to crack to an impossible board to crack. I can live without it. Yeah. And I would hate to see Bujins with Solemn down or Fire Fist with Solemn down. Like, at least with Solemn out of the way, that's one more out. But we don't have to, I mean, that's one more chance we have to get rid of Yamato or Tiger King backed up by back row. Yeah. Was there anything else that I missed on yeah, the bands? Yeah, there was. 
Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. Four, but really? Really? That's the one you missed? <laughs> yeah, I can't believe it. it. Yeah, Heavy Storm. That's the big one. Let's just say we saved this one for last. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this isn't, this isn't as professional as the last one. I apologize, people. Yeah, we, don't have, we, we don't have the bad thing in front of us either. Really. Yeah. I had it on my phone before, but yeah, heavy gone. Like a lot of people who are gonna be like, "Oh my God, it's the return of backrow dot format." No, but it's not as bad this time around. I feel it's not. I'm... The only Royal one... oppression is illegal. Yeah, we don't have free solemn warning. We don't have well, we don't have the judgment. We don't have two bottomless, three compulse, two or why is treasure wasn't on that anyway? Fine. Yeah. Free tengu. Like. But see, again, that's what my argument with the Shockmaster's name was. I want one or the other. But oh, Storm may come back, but Storm being gone allows Constellus to actually, like, do stuff? Because she can actually do things like Omega plus back row. Yeah, of, exactly. Yeah, because, I mean, before it was, like, Omega, okay, well, I, if my opponent has all the back row, well, crap. But now with everything at one, pretty much, okay, uh, yeah, here, here's Omega. I really thought they would have brought back Trunade if they were to axe heavy. Nah, I think the whole logic of just because they ban a card, they should unban a card is a little faulty. We don't have to have a card come back. Let's just bring back Cold Wave. Uh. Oh god, no. That's not gonna happen. No. Cold Wave too strong. All of in all, I think that's pretty good for the bans itself. There's a couple things I kind of wish were still hit. Yeah. Uh, rekindling could have got banned very easily. Banned it. Yeah, one. One. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's unlimited. It's Anything that says special summon as many as possible should not be at one. Or at three. Sorry. You can't, we, can't, we can't use Monster Reborn, but we can use Rekindling. Yeah, which is a fucking five times Monster Reborn. Yeah, so I guess on that note, we'll go into the limited cards. and yeah. There's quite a we few of them in here. Oh, yeah. Well, no one's sad to see that go. Just in a good no, riddance. Just in a good riddance fucking sense. Yeah, yeah good riddance, Monsterborn. Like, get, get the list up there. Gotta love, gotta love it when bads just talk reborn on you, and that's that's kind of how it rolls. You want the limited? Limits. Yeah, let's go over to limited's uh, now. New limited. Atlantean uh, Dragoons. Dragoons. That one needed to happen. I prefer that hit over Abysteus. I think it actually makes the deck better having Dragoons at one than Abysteus at one. Yeah, you'll pretty much be doing just more mermaid-like combos. I mean, the deck is still derpy. I know that much, but yeah, you was, no, it's still really, it's still really powerful. But like I said, I'm, you know what? And this is going segueing into another one. But having Diva and Dragoons both at one, I'll prefer that infinitely over Abyssius and Abyss Sphere to one. I still would have liked to have seen Abyss Sphere to one. I think the deck is actually stronger under the TCG list than the OCG list by far. Yeah. I think so too. Like, yeah, people who think mermails are done are really mistaken. Or they're just blowing yeah, themselves. Still, it's it's gonna it's, the dragons in. It's gonna be the deck. It's gonna be the deck that's gonna be the best at making sevens now. Yeah, I can see that. Mm. What's next on the list? Let's actually segue. Let's stay on the waters. Yeah. Go to deep sea. Yeah. yeah. Too easy to search, yeah. even with Dragoons at one. Card creates too much pluses. Way too much pluses. What more do you need to say about it? Oh, and some one card Trishla in Japan. Oh. Yes. But it's still at three in Japan, and so is Dragoons, so. And Trishla's at one. Yeah. Anyone who bought their Trishla's. Uh... Oh, sad in Saskatoon. <laughs> sad in Saskatoon. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, I've, been, I've been calling for Diva to to be hit in some manner for quite some time. I figured they would hit that first before anything else, but I'm glad to see Diva and Dragoons go to one. Yeah. Diva and Megalos are one is a two-card OTK. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Which, I've I mean, you need to set it up more, but you can still do it. No, actually, no, you can't. Unless you can just draw into Deep Sea Diva and Megalo, because if you have to use the Dragoons to search either one, then you, don't have, you can't pull it out the Marksman. Yep. Yep. So it's going to be considerably harder to pull off that OTK. Yeah, and you know, if your opponent does it to you, they just sacked you horribly, I'm sorry. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and make you just a little bit salty. Yeah, yeah. Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least they didn't hit Rooster. They made it pretty much useless. Now, now, you can still summon Rooster off a of Fire Fist Dragon. We... Yeah. But... I just wanted to play three... 
three or three spirit, three leopard, three or two roost are into all the synchros. Yeah, they hit that synchro build so hard. It's I was and actually I wanted to see it. I wanted to play Fire Fist Plant. You can get Lone Fire to the deck with horse prints. Yeah, you can. But I think they probably felt the three axis would have been just too good under this list. And four won't be. Yeah, hmm. I'm I'm a bit surprised they didn't hit four harder than they did, but maybe we can see more of coming Four. No. I think I think four access mermails going forward are the best two decks again, just like at the beginning of March. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it seems. Other other decks are going to be strong. Some decks lose popularity. Some decks gain it. Yeah, it should be pretty good. Sorry, special delivery. Sorry. Sweet. Vanilla Coke. <laughs> I want some vanilla coke. All right. We're back after a vanilla coke, coke break. break. Yeah, cause vanilla coke was a thing. I forgot about that. Coke, if you're watching, sponsor me. Team Bobby Bros, Jordan Pierre. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have that uh, product placement. <laughs> <laughs> All the coke and cola vanilla. Uh, okay. Oh, now. We were going to start off. We just finished talking about Brother of the Fire Fist Spirit. Which is BS still, I agree. And next on the list is Gen X Ally Birdman. Love the hit. The only limit of ours that's the same as the OCG. The only one. And there's a reason for it. Yeah. I, that, we're not getting that OTK. Plain and simple. Yeah, well, again, they should have just hit, like, they should just hit the Blaze Fat. We've already been over this. Everybody already knows my thoughts on that. Yeah, it hit Blaze Phoenix, but at the same time, I guess Burman was used in some other decks. So I, as a Hieratic player, it does hurt having my Burman go to one. Hieratics, I'm the exact same way. I still have my deck kicking around. Well, it's a skeleton. I don't even know if I would so run the card anymore. Dragon, make the blue eyes synchro. I wanted to do that. I really did. Awesome. Yeah. But no. no I, is anybody as excited for that as I am, by the way, that blue eyes synchro deck? I, I think everybody who's been playing for a good amount of time. And remember the time where Blue Eyes was the baddest card out there. It was so good. You're going to have a great time with that. Sure, you, you guys. I'm in Red Eyes. If you remember the original times, like, you know, you probably would. You probably still would. Where it was like, okay, ultimate offering. <laughs> now, and now, and now, your point then, rips your, their right gecky on you. Yeah. You feel bad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, like, you know, you've been waiting for, like, people have been waiting for support. Like, Mike, one of the other guys that I play with, the guy that always plays uh, Dark, uh, Evil Swarms. He wants Dark Magician players. Yeah, Legacy support? Structure. Yeah. yeah. And I, I kind of agree with him. Legacy support. What do you think uh, is going to get Legacy support and Legacy of the Valley into? Ooh. I'm still holding out for Battery Man support. <laughs> okay, getting off topic, but yes. Jedi yes. Ally Birdman. Yeah. That's, I mean, who cares? Yeah. Getting off topic, talking about stuff like that. It's so whatever. Cool. Like, it, it happened. There's nothing you can do about it. Like, yeah. What does whining about it change? Oh, uh, yeah, I guess we moved to Rabbit now. Had to happen. Yep, yep. Too many decks could still abuse it. Can you imagine Loggy has set a bunch of no heavy? Oh. Oh, indeed. And also, well, oh, and just a quick note from, uh, about the legacy of the variant support, Ojamas. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, there were a bunch on the country of Ojama, uh, on the art of Ojama country that haven't been explored yet. <laughs> yep. But yeah, back on topic, yeah. We need more little blobby things. On that balls. note, I guess the rabbit hit does hurt Ojamas because they were a deck that used rabbit in a fair manner. Yeah. But at the same time, when you look at the stuff that was abusing it, I'm willing to accept the sacrifice for the means. Uh, as a Gemini player, it's going to hurt not being able to just go rabbit, get two uh, well, tourmalines and such. If you're going to be playing a deck that runs a bunch of vanillas anyway, what is the harm in a one of rabbit? Yeah, that's true. Sometimes you'll still open it, but then you'll get called a sack. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Although Box of Friends really, is now a thing. Really, Mr. Gold started fun like six draws in a row today, anyways. Then there, I know the next one's Thunder King. Yeah, yeah, it's exactly what it is. It's great. Right. It makes me sad to see that go. I'll still run the one. In fact, I could see Thunder King being a one of staple in some decks. I can see that. I can see that as the balancing thing, so like akin to no solid judgment in a format like this. Yeah, Thunder King plus min and back row was pretty annoying. So reducing the number of back row and Thunder Kings. Thunder King said five, say go. Yep. 
I'm running one Thunder King in Excellus. Oh, same here. I'm even going to run Thunder King in Chaos Dragon. I had two. I had two. In Maybe I can pick up. Maybe I can pick up an ulti now. I'm keeping my two. Legacy formats, yo. Right. But well, we play quite a bit of I that. guess because Mistake's coming out, they felt like, yeah, we can limit Thunder King and then Mistake can be MST'd. Mistake is going to be a fucking good card. It's going to be a secret rare. Oh, no question. Look for Mistake and Plot of Duplicity to be the money secrets in Shadow Spectre. Yep. Along with Ghost Trick Alucard. I, can't. I hope not. Give it Gishki, my dog, yes. Yes! Fuck Gish kill. That's all I gotta say about that. Yeah, I can deal with that. That's a good quick one then. If that's how you guys are playing that one. Yep. Right. Like. So that will that will make for one sad ginger down in Florida. <laughs> Deborin? I guess it should have gone the other way. I guess they so felt them. I don't really see as necessary. Like I understand the uh, Diva Marksman Dragoon Synchro both, and then you get a, your Marksman back or whatever else. Bounce your Abyss spheres and stuff. Yeah, but That's I thought... That's powerful, but they only ran one in the first place. Exactly. Like, I f that wasn't a necessary hit, but maybe they felt maybe there might be future water support coming out, and... Oh, God, could you imagine the legacy support in Valiant could be waters? Like, like an old water archetype like Cloudians? Maybe. Yeah, give them a tuner. Possibly. Who knows? I've noticed that with this ban list, Konami's actually shown some, like, it seems like it almost seems like they actually give a fuck about us now. They put some thought into it. That being said, uh, next one. Next, next one is one. D Fidge. No, next is Constellar M7. Yeah. Oh yeah. Messi I seven. I don't understand that. I guess they felt that maybe with M7 in multiples, some decks could like make use of it. Like Hieratics, I think, could put two out. Great, now we catch Heratic Gishki. Couldn't do that? Yeah, that's probably why, because with the three M7s, you could Heratic Gishki. Mm -hmm. So there's that reason, and I guess because they felt that it would be too good in this. Frankly, as a cons playing Constellars in this format, I would only run the one M7 anyway. I was running two. Now, the simple reason for that was Chain. Being this Chain, my... Whatever, like half. They chain yeah. your Pleiades. Yeah, so that's what I'm everyone's saying. gonna everyone's gonna chain Pleiades. No one wants that card to do what it was meant to do. Nobody. Chain. Okay. Seven. Yeah. I guess that's. That's why I ran into all the time. But it's still gonna be a, a widely used card. It'll still be yeah. there. It'll still be played. Yeah. Otherwise, I guess like I'm not as bothered by it as some, but perhaps. Sorry, I missed them seven. And then I believe is dimensional phase. Yeah, the next is defense. And macrocosmo. That's just that's and soul drain. Yeah. Well, Basically, the side deck cards that hate on macro are on bigger decks. Basically, cards that, as uh, totally legit extra deck guy would say, you can't play Yu Gi Oh. Yeah. That's um, it. Um, I don't think I, I can see macro defi. I don't think they should have touched the so drain. I kind of don't like it, but I guess at the same time, they wanted us to like, stop bringing in all this stuff that just completely shuts decks down. They'd stop making decks so fucking linear. Yeah. I guess that's another way of putting it. Wouldn't be surprised if Rivalry and Goes and Goes on one next man list. So. January. Yep. You better grab those DT Shadow Mirrors and Light Mirrors while you can. Yeah, really. Hey, speaking, be... of, speaking of next man list, are they going to switch us to the TCG list now where we do the regular? You mean... No, it's four now. This is from September 1st to December 31st. This is and then we'll go so January until April, and in April... September. Yeah. It's not bad. So we're getting three lists now, and the OCG's getting four. Um, I'm thinking the April list and the May list for the OCG are going to be exactly the same, so we have a unified Worlds format. I think so, too. But we're getting ahead of ourselves there. Yeah, just, just, just a question. Sorry. Yeah. Um, <laughs> cold start. Like it matters. <laughs> I'm a little saddened. I th I would have accepted it at two, but I can see three being too much. But maybe now the SJC Ultras will drop in price. Ha <laughs> ha! Good luck. <laughs> How much is that crush card going for? Bro, the crush card last I checked it was like eight nine hundred dollars. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. I don't see it dropping that much. Um, Would be nice to have. I'd like to say it really really hurt one of my decks. It hurt three of my decks. Hurt countdown 
That's like something I wanted to see on the limited list. Or banned. Why? Why? Because it's degenerate. You're, you're playing Countdown and you're upset that Shockmaster got go nailed? I'm not playing Countdown. I have it kicking around for fun. I'm just saying. If I actually did it, then that'd be a different story. On that note, speaking of things, I heard Countdown Eradicator went to one. And I, I... I can see it eventually following the crush card route and going to zero. I'm a bit saddened because spellbooks are still going to be really good under this list and Eradicator does keep these kind of decks in check. I think anything that can re uh, reliably shit out, say, Key Beetle, they could make their one copy. Of I was thinking of attacking just the one copy in a couple of decks because I could put out 2,500 Dark exactly. Monsters. And I mean, traps. Traps everywhere. Yep. Um, got one ahead of ourselves. Royal Tribute. Thank God. That was one of the worst things. That was probably one of the things that made uh, September 2010 bad was that turn one Royal Tribute. Yeah. And Dex at the time just could not handle it. They put it to two, but that wasn't enough. No, it needed... I would have liked to have seen it outright banned, but this is acceptable for now. I mean, when, well, I mean, Gravekeepers have gotten power creep to hell anyway. Same for Black Wings. A lot of the older decks that got benefits from this list are going to have problems keeping up on it. They've still got power prepped on. Yep. Anything left to I'm going to mix not in spells, but at ones I'm going to lump three a few in together. Bottomless, Compulse, Torrential. Our staples. Torrential. No, my staples! <laughs> uh, but I, I can see why they did this. It's because Storm is gone and Judgment is gone. The problem yeah, with... Those the, cards would be a little overwhelming with just... Uh, without heavy storm and just back row, back row, back row. Basically, they learned somewhat from September and March 2010, and uh, to, I mean September 2010 and March 2011. Yeah, it's making a lot of sense to do that. I mean, I'm not going to sit there with three heavy storms. I'd have to have all three in hand. Okay, I'm going to play all my back row. Okay. Yeah, basically what. Radics now get three heavy storms. Yay! But basically, this kind of limits the amount of on response on summon response cards to torrential. Where's my finger? There it is. Torrential. Bottomless and warning. You could also count compulse in this, but it's. I don't really want to use compulse as, a, as an on summon response unless it's sort of something really powerful. But basically, yeah, people were complaining about, oh my god, this is going to be like the return to back row dot format, but what back row are we like going to be seeing a whole lot of outside of those? Being the Shannon Mirror Force. Yeah. Running two each. Yeah. But those aren't as powerful as like the multiple prisons and multiple bottomlesses. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah bottomless is pretty powerful. Especially in this list. <laughs> is there any other yeah, things uh, left Yeah. So sending limits. Well, Oops. any other limited cards that we wanted? Oh, Rekindling. Rekindling. Drag down. Yeah. Drag down, yes. God, yes. If they if they limited drag down to one, I mean I wouldn't care about playing Dark Rose anymore. No, if they hit drag down to one, you would just yeah. play level eight Dark World Creator Turbo Build. That's pretty good, and it's actually fun. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Nonetheless. And also Ophion. I would have liked to have seen it yeah, go. Yeah, Ophion could have got hit. Yeah, that's definitely a thing. Oh, and now the best part of the list, the semis. Yeah, let's go to the semis, and we'll start with Mizuki. I see no reason yes. why not. We have vampires coming up. Pretty, pretty oh, Mizuki Plague? It's, I've never played in the list. I've never played under, like, by the time I'd gotten back into Yu-Gi-Oh! from when I was on the long, like, I, I quit for a lot of years, but by the time I came back to Yu-Gi-Oh! they were both already a one, and I always wanted to try Zombies. It was, like, a really fun deck. When I got back into it, those weren't a thing. So I don't even know what the hell Mizuki is. Mizuki? To be honest, honestly, God. Banish it from your graveyard to summon a zombie from your graveyard. So zombies are gonna be a thing again? It's I possible. I mean, we're getting vampire support in the next set, so that's I'm another reason sure why that's they... That's the entire reason they did that. And you know what? Fine. Go for it, because zombies are pretty fun to play around with. I've always wanted to try making red-eyes zombie dragon work. I'm a red-eyes guy. Give me a break. Hey, you get all the respect <laughs> from me. Let me... I'm gonna go... Hero zombies. I'm gonna jump into the next semi with the one that I've been wanting for a long time, and that's freaking TG Striker to two. It's about mm -hmm. damn time. That had no business being at one. 
especially for how Especially for how long, especially for how long it was at one. It's just ridiculous. I mean, yes. How is that card limited powerful? I, I don't know, but I'm really happy to see Striker at 2 2. This makes TG Stone playable, TG Agents are playable, TG Quackimator. Like, there's so much you can do with the 2 Striker, the 3 Warwolf. Like, oh, I'll, I'll this is by far my favorite change on this list. Oh, I'll I'll do this do it's just be there. It's a 2. Thanks, Brian. <laughs> We're counting on you to win back that title from Mr. Monotonous. <laughs> All I got is my Morpher for now. We cool that. Ooh, that works. Next uh, would uh, be... Tanky. Well, we, yeah, I guess we did kind of talk about play spreader. That makes sense. Tanky. Yeah, I'm surprised it didn't get harder. Yeah, I thought it was going to go to one. I run two in the sellers anyways. If Rota's at one, why should Beast Warrior Rota that sticks around for attack bonus plus bear food not be at one? I guess because we have MST, but they'll pop, they'll, they, they'll, they will change that next ban list. I'm sure of it. I mean, I guess they do want to sell things like... They want to sell vision support. They want to sell like wolf marks and stuff. Yep. And so that that's probably more of a money move. Anyone who picked up Wolf Barks, by the way, the last couple weeks ago? You were smart. Yep. You give yourself a pat on the back. I will, because I bought them when they were 35. Don't hurt yourself on that pat. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm a tough guy. And deep Uh Yeah. But we already talked about the reason why that got... Uh, yeah. and, and then there's the threes, which is pretty absolutely. decently sized. Yeah, I mean, it's a good list. Uh, you got Malicious. Malicious. A hero lives by relation, e call by relation, all because Stratos got banned. Like banning that one card managed to let them get some crap off the list that I'm, had no business being on there. I love seeing Malicious back to three. Uh, that's so fucking awesome. I can't wait to watch those decks just come out of nowhere. D hero zombies. Uh, Malicious and Chaos cool. Dragons. Ooh, get them strike balancers out. Get them Palmas out. Ooh. Strike balancers. We got uh, Earth. Let's go with Earth. Yes, Earth. Wow. Agent uh, Earth. Yeah. That had, no, that had no business being there, too. I was just, you know what? I was actually, you just stole the words right out of my mouth. Why was it there? Anybody want to give me a... They still thought... Because Mama hates Synchros. Apparently. Not anymore. They did it one... That, no, that's why I got hit in the first place. Who's was there? Yeah. Yeah. But Suki I'm... Suki only back No one to cares. Three. No. No one they, cares. Give hey. somebody a deck of 40 Suki Obis. Who cares? Irrelevant. I'll take 40. Yeah, we talked about a hero lives. A little bit. Black Whirlwind. Yay! That's good, but at the same time, I'm, I'm like, eh, Black Wings have still been power crept on. I mean, they will see play. They are seeing play right yeah. now, but I think as the format goes well, on... Well, I mean, we, we've just seen this. The list is under a week old, like, people seeing it. Everybody's excited to play their old decks that they think are going to be so viable again. So, of course, people are going to play a lot of Black Wings in the first week. Or first out month. I think they'll make a decent showing at Toronto. But I don't think they'll be very present at San Mateo. I think maybe one will get top 32 or 16. But I think ultimately Blackwings are just going to die out as this format goes on. Because they've been outdated. And a lot of people know how to play around the Icarus attack. Mm -hmm. Not to I mention mean, you can just space the, the, space the Whirlwind. One of their best tricks of making level 6 is well. Goyo and Brio are banned. That's true. Blizzard's pretty ass. They've really, I personally, I mean, you know, going back, like, I even look, these guys have shown me that you have shown me the old, the old style of playing like that, and you've even shown me old videos and old top lists. That's ridiculous. Black Wings have had their time. Like, oh, they, they, were, they used to be so good. Oh, yeah. Let them die. They you have no good. idea. You have to think, the thing is, though, like, Japan would not let Japan that deck go. Oh. Japan now has one less whirlwind than we do, and... I wonder what the influx of Blackwing decks we'll see on Shriek now are going to be like. We'll find out tomorrow. Yep. Um, talked about Ecol, the one that I'm excited about. Eradicate Convocation. Fist. Mm. Mm. Yeah, Dragon. Um, fuck yeah, I've been wanting that one forever. I Another limit that didn't fucking matter. I'm, I'm actually about to look at like my Constellers and just go, yeah. Like, when it, when, when it got so oh. limited in the first place is when Red Men went to one, so I think Convocation was just unnecessary. It was. I said it was a dick move at that time, and I still stand by it. And, and now, actually, what really sucks, too, is actually I'm really hoping that when the Tinnies come out, I want a Rail Cannon so bad now just to try and pull that off. Yeah. Exodius. Five <laughs> <laughs> mind. Oh, I wish I had. Must have original so, ultra jump. Yep. 
And then I, did we already talk about duality? Just no. about to bring it up, sir. Yeah, because that wasn't a necessary hit either. Now I need a third secret first DD I The cost is enough. Look at three cards. You're not special summoning. This whole format has been about special summoning. To be perfectly honest, when it comes to the draw support that we've had to this point, duality is probably the most balanced of them all. Yeah. You reveal the top three cards of your deck, so your opponent knows what you're playing. You can only use one, and you can't special summon. That's kind of really important. I mean, yeah, when you compare it to Pot of Avarice, Pot of Greed, Super Rejuvenation, Spell... Like, yeah. Duality is just fair, and it makes slow decks better. You know, and then there, and there's, there's one last hit on the list, one last thing to three. I'm pretty sure it's everybody's favorite fucking thing on the list. Three scapegoats. Yep. <laughs> Three scapegoats. Go for it, Here we come. Guy dragging the thunder charger. Yeah. <laughs> Double attack your shark fortress. Ooh, 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 ooh. 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 That's so mean. Yeah, I like where this is going. Yeah, yeah you do. <laughs> and then throw her on a stoic challenge as well. Ooh, ooh, yeah. That's something Constellus can do. Stoic challenge OTKs with Shark Fortune. Well, I mean, hey, you can use your one M7 to just go Omega, M7, Gaia Dragon. In the face of Dos Goats, and then. In the face of Dos Goats. And we're also getting our sheep tokens in a, really soon. I'm almost going to put money on that's the reason why they moved up Scapegoat, is so we can get those goat tokens and do something with them. Any other things you guys wanted them limited? Uh, well, Book of Moon. Not three, so I would have liked to have seen it semi though. Yeah, I didn't think we would see I'll, it. I'll continue to say Book of Moon every single four months until it happens. I also take back what I said in the last video, and that was where I wanted uh, warning at two, and under this list, it can stay at one. Oh, yeah. Two warning would be too much. Well, but I mean, it would have been nice if they left us at least one trap at two, one of the staple traps at two. You know, no prison. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised though. After this format, we see some more traps get hit. Like, I'm, Vanity's Emptiness could very well... Oh, that's going to get hit. Vanity's Once the Evil Emptiness. Swarms start going with Vanity's Emptiness, Key Beetle, yeah, we'll start Black Wings can do that, too. Yeah, they can, I know. But I'm Although, just Fire Fists do kind of poop on those. So yeah, that's true. We'll see how it turns out. But otherwise, like, this list is overall very nice. I like it a lot. A lot of people who hated it either at first were just shocked by the amount of change or they're being, in my opinion, very narrow-minded in what can be done under this. That's a polite way of saying they're bad. <laughs> I have my opinions on it too. I mean, you know, the whole Shockmaster thing. Yes, I bitch about one card, but at least I'm not sitting here going, I just don't like Why do they ban heavy? It's so stupid. No, that makes I sense. I just don't like the Fire Fist Spirit hit, and just because I feel bad for myself with spending all the money on a chicken for a deck that's now, like, unplayable. Wank, wank. I think the hit on Dolores questionable, but otherwise, I like the stuff on yeah, this list. Like, yeah, it just doesn't make sense. I like the fact that we're going back to basically September 2010, which was one of my favorite formats until Storm of Ragnar came out, and we don't have one of those sets coming up yet. That we know, glad, that we know of. I'm glad. That oh, yeah, I guess the format would change before Legacy of the Valiant comes up now, because it ends on January 1st. So, yeah. Yep, yeah. yeah, so this is probably going to be the best, best format we've had in years. In before fucking busted exclusives and Shadow Spectre. Noble Knights to tier zero. Please don't make that happen, Konami. <laughs> but otherwise, yeah, I like this, and I guess that's pretty much it for this video. Um, closing thoughts on this format. On this format? Awful. It was okay. It was a better Nationals format than last year. I'll give it that. Otherwise, yeah, I will, I will not be happy. I will, I mean, I will... Yeah, screw it. You know what? I don't care at this point. Format's done. It so, is. Do you want you want my closing thoughts? We got a week left. There's like no one's gonna be it, playing those decks. Maybe the locals are too. Everybody's just gonna be having new their new decks. Yeah. Close, closing thoughts on this format. I made Draco Zarek and I have this many in hand. 